you ain't got a nickel, don't take a dime. Speak up, don't blow your mind. Harbor and fugitives and runaway trains. Don't get fooled by bruises and bones. They shine in your eyes like a diamond in the sun. Blinking and blinking work is never done. They'll take you for a spin, rough up your new hat, and throw it in the street with nothing but bruises and bones on your back. Cyberbullying is cowardly. Um, just people sitting behind a, a keyboard. Cyberbullying to me is even just taking the mic out of someone's picture on Facebook. You know, they just take it out on other people uh, through the form of their screen, they're sitting on the room, they feel safe. Cyberbullying is the use of technological communications for the intention of harming someone. There are 1.11 billion users on Facebook. That is over a seventh of the world's population. Twitter has 500 million registered users and on average 175 million tweets are posted per day and 750 per second. <laughs> Nearly 43% of children have been bullied online. One in four of these children has had it happen more than once. When I was 13, I was happy and I loved school. I loved my lessons, had loads of friends, and then a new girl joined. At first it was shouting things in the corridor, then it moved to Facebook and Twitter, and she'd be writing statuses about me and messaging me all the time, and putting photos up of me that I didn't even know had been taken. And I felt really alone, and I just, I felt taken advantage of and vulnerable, and no one, had no one to turn to, and no one I thought would understand. On August the 2nd, 2013, 14-year-old Hannah Smith committed suicide as a result of cyberbullying. Hannah was a bright, bubbly little lady that enjoyed her life. Um, she enjoyed messing about. She enjoyed everything about her life. Hannah got a lot of abusive messages on Ask FM. Um, some of them told her to drink bleach. Some of them told her to get cancer. Some of them told her to die. Cyberbullying has got out of hand. Um, I've had several stories about cyberbullying now, and and it's actually quite scary what's happening. What's what's happening to teenagers nowadays is going to scar them for life if it carries on the way it's going. Because you've got people telling them to die, and and they're getting so much abuse on the internet. But it's just, it just needs to change. Something needs to change. And, and it needs to stop. HAB is an anti-bullying organisation that's there for people that are going through bullying or the effects bullying can cause. We hear about cyberbullying every day. We, we're inundated with calls and messages in regard to not only the cyber side but also texting and mobile phones. Sadly, cyberbullying can cause people to have low self-esteem, depression, anxiety, self-harming and the worst scenario is suicide. Cyberbullying is one of the most unpleasant forms of humiliation, at the very least. It is not the person's uh, or, or individual who, who is putting out the unkind message. It is not up to them to decide whether it's cyberbullying. It's up to the, in inverted commas, the victim, the person who's at the receiving end. I think cyberbullying is particularly easy because it can be done anonymously. It can be done in the anonymity of your bedroom or your, your house uh, or with your friends. It's very easy to, to sit amongst some friends and think, oh, it's all a, just a bit of a laugh to humiliate somebody, but they're not on the receiving end. 81% of young people think bullying online is easier to get away with than bullying in person. However, 68% of teens agree that cyberbullying is a serious problem. Bruises and bones, just me and my bruises and bones. Long time, honey, don't waste money. Haven't you heard? You don't need clothes. All you need is bruises and bones. Schools can do a lot to help. Um, the, first, the first thing schools could actually do is admit they've got bullying in their own schools. Because... A lot of schools will not admit that there's bullying going on because it makes the school look bad. The social networking sites need to start regulating the, uh, their sites to stop bullying from happening. The first thing we would say is ignore 
um, also block all messages, copy and paste and report. If they're being cyber bullied, um, they, they really need to talk to the parents because the parents could, could actually try and help them a lot. I wish to goodness that governments across the world would work together to close down certain websites if they, for whatever reason, result in the abuse of another child. I'll stay home with my bruises and bones. Bruises and bones. Always think before you communicate. Especially think how you would feel to be on the receiving end of anything, no matter how small it may be. Bruises and bones. Bruises and bones. I'll stay home with my bruises and bones. Bruises and bones, bruises and bones Just me and my bruises and bones Just me and my bruises and bones